Okay, so we'll continue. So now we have seen about actually what uh, what is a variable and then how to declare a variable, initialize a variable, those things. Now we are going to see what are the different types of variables we have. Okay, so types of variables. Okay, so there are actually what two different types of variables we have. One is a local variable. Okay, one is a local variable. Another one is a global variable. Okay, so global variable again it is split into two. One is static. The another one is non-static. Okay, it is split into two as one as static, another one as non-static. Okay, so how it be used? That's what we're going to see. So simple. This is my class. Always a class will have a main function, public static void main, string arguments. Okay. Only when we have a main function, then only I can execute my program. Correct. So inside the main function, if I declare a variable, declaration means what? It says it's like creating a variable. Correct. So if I declare and initially is a variable this is called as local variable got it uh, guys give me a minute give me a minute i'm just coming don't mistake give me a minute
is our case. We'll continue the session. Okay, so we have a class. In the class, we have a main function. Okay, inside the main function, actually, what when we declare a variable, okay, that is called as a local variable. The place where we are creating the variable decides what type of variable it is. Correct. So inside a function, when we create a variable, that is called as a local variable. Same thing. Outside the actually what function, if we create a variable. This is called as a global variable. Okay. A variable which has been declared outside the function is called as a global variable. Global variables, I told you, is of two types. One is static, another one is non-static. So anything comes with a keyword called static is called as a static variable. Okay, which does not have a keyword is called as a non-static variable. Correct? Okay. So this is my static variable. This is my non-static variable here. So how we can access all the variables? That's the question. So simple. Local variables can be accessed directly by the variable name. Okay. Local variables can be accessed directly by the variable name alone. The same thing. The global variables, static and non-static, how to access means. Okay. So static members, always we will be accessing them with help of my class name, abc.x. What's my class name? Class name is abc. So abc.x. That's it. We get this. Got it. The same thing. Non-static members, how we will access means. Non-static members, we can access them only with the help of actually what? Object name. That is, we need to create an object. Okay, object is a memory which loads actually what the, all the global members from a class. Okay, it can be static or non-static. Okay, through help of the object only, we can access them. How? So simple. When I give new ABC. Okay, when I give new ABC, the class name, that will help me to actually what create the object. Okay, it creates the memory location. Okay, the object is created. Then I need to give a name for the object. I will give obj1 is equal to new abc. Okay, got it? New abc. So that helps me to actually what create the object. And then the object name is given. So for variables, data types are the reference. Okay, the same thing for objects, the class names are the reference. abc obj1 is equal to new abc got it so abc obj1 equal to new abc abc is a reference what this will tell to the object means load all the global members from the abc class what are the global members we have here my static int x is equal to 100 that's a global variable integer y is equal to 200 that's a global variable then my main function also is one of the global member okay it loads that also all these three things will be loaded into the object then with the help of the object i can access zoom obj1 dot y the non-static member can be accessed only with the help of the object name alone obj1 dot y is it abc dot y or obj1 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 is the object name Okay, this ABC keyword you are given, what is that? That is a reference. That is, I told, right? For variables, data types are the reference. Correct? Okay. Same like that. For the objects, the class names are the reference here. Okay. Got it? That's the thing. So that is, this data type integer, what it will do? It tells to the variable, load only integer values. Correct? To the variable it will say load only the integer range of values same thing this abc class what it will tell to the object means load only the global members of abc class that's what it will do. got it right uh, yeah good so now th that's what obj1 dot y when we give inside the object it loads 200 so that 200 will be printed here Next, I told 
the static member also will be loaded because that is also a global member okay so that also will be loaded into it so reference of the object i can also refer the static member also okay with the reference of object i can access static and can access non static both the members i can access another one static members can also be accessed with the help of the variable name also but which is a standard practice to access the static member means with reference of the class name that's the best practice that is the best practice to access got it so now if you see how this program will be executed that's what we are going to see so whenever i execute the program a memory location will be given then the memory location name will be actually what my class name with some hexadecimal number correct my class name with some hexadecimal number the first memory which will be created into the memory location is my static pool static pool is the first memory which will be created into inside this memory okay then it loads all the static members so what are the static members we have here that is static equal to 100 yes super then apart from that do we have any other static member my main function is also here static member public static void main that's why main function also loads into it clear then after that what will happen my main function is an executable function so when main function starts to execute it creates a local memory for the main function got it local memory for esvm okay then my main function starts to execute over there now integer a is equal to 10 now what we are doing it tries to create a local memory where inside the main function okay because variables which are been declared inside the main functions will be the local variable for the main function here correct public static void bit then system dot out dot print ln a now i am referring the actually what variable only uh, by the variable name whenever we refer only by the variable name search goes to the local memory that is my public static void bit correct now what is the value inside it a the value of a is what 10 10 will be printed for me here clear then abc dot x whenever we refer only by only uh, with help of the class name the search directly goes to the class static pool okay when we refer by the variable name search goes to the local memory when we refer by the actual word class name search goes to the static pool okay now what is the value static pool means static int x is there okay so we are trying to actually what the abc dot x goes here do we have x variable here yes the value is what 100 got it guys then next is actually what abc obj1 equal to new abc okay now what i am doing i am trying to create the object new abc i am trying to create the object obj1 okay then abc is actually what the reference got it abc is the reference for me that means load only the global members from the abc class okay so static members always will have a single copy so always static members we should take it from the static pool what is the current value so static in text is equal to 100 then public static void main so all the static members we took it from here then my non static members we should take the default information what is the non static member integer y equal to 200 apart from that do we have any other non static members here that's it because static members always single copy so we take it from the static pool what is the current value then non static members will take the default so here we have only one non static member integer y equal to 
200. Got it? So we load loaded all the static and non-static members from the ABC class. Correct. Now, uh, any questions on this object creation for anyone, guys? I just want to reply from everyone. Any questions for anyone on this? No, no. Super. Good. No. Good. So now next, CISO obj one dot y. Now referring with the help of the object name goes to the object obj one. Do we have y variable? Yes. The value is two hundred. Correct. Then CISO obj one dot x goes to the obj one. What is the x value? Hundred. Then after that, CISO x. Whenever we refer only by the variable name, search goes to the local memory. Here do we have x variable? No. No. Where this local memory actually what has been uh, memory is created from the static pool. In the static pool, do we have x variable? Yes. The yes. value is 100. Got it? Whenever we refer only by the variable name, always search goes to local memory. When we refer by the uh, class name, search goes to static pool when we refer by the object name search goes to object here okay in the local memory if we don't have that information it searches in the static pool if it is there it will get me the output got it for everyone that answers your question guys yes good so with this then after the actual what my program is executed once my program is executed over there, it comes out of the main function. The memory for the main will be deleted. Then comes out of the entire program. The entire memory will be deleted by whom? By the garbage collector. That means once after the execution, it will be a zero size memory. We don't have anything over there. Everything will be deleted. Got it? Because after the execution, we don't want this memory to stay in my system. Because next time when I execute, again it recreates. So I don't want it to stay here unnecessarily. That's the main reason. Clear for everyone, guys? Okay. So this is how a basic, a normal program execution will be done. Still, we have to see more on the memory allocation part because memory allocation part is important i told already right each and every line when you are going to write there is a memory will be created for it once you understand that concept understanding a programming knowledge is so easy okay so that's what we are going to see for the next week completely over there Willie, really, i have a question yes Rob. yeah if you do a CISO right now after the x CISO yes. x okay will you get an error message uh, so X, what it will do means. It, I mean, because it's all it's all co collect the garbage collector already cleared it. Uh, no, once after the program execution, we will not have we cannot have any lines over there. So it is like this. So for example, the same program if I write it here, integer a is equal to ten. Then here we have two variables integer x is equal to 100 integer y is equal to 200 in that this is a static member correct so now this is a so what this will do this will help me actually to go to the local memory and then get me the value of a then next this what is my class name here print statement print statement dot can you see i can access x and then i can access my main function and then my class because these are all static members static members will come as yes symbol here static members can be accessed with the help of a class name so i'm able to access non static member why it did not came in anywhere i need to create the object how to create the object new sorry new object yes new my class name it should come with parenthesis so that's helps me to create the object 
What is the name of the object? OBJ one. OBJ one. What is the reference for the object? Class name. Yes, my class name. So now what will happen? It loads all the global members. It can be static or it can be non-static. Then so static members will have a single copy. So always static members alone will be taken from the static pole. Okay. Then my non-static member actually what will be loaded here freshly. It takes always the default information. Next, so obj1 dot. Now can you see these are all object over here. That is the object is a supermost class of all the classes in Java. Okay, so we always get some default information over there. Then print statement. Can you see this is my own class from here? I'm able to access y. Can you see y is a variable, but I'm not getting any yes symbol over there. The same thing here. X is there, we get a yes static symbol. Then after that, my main function. Okay, so I'm able to access Y right now. Sizzle obj1 dot X. That is static members can be accessed with the help of the class name, with the help of the object name. Also, I'm able to access them with the help of the variable name also. Whenever you refer to the variable name alone, what will happen? Search goes to the local memory of main. If you don't have that, then it goes to the static pole and then gets me the X value. But when we refer by the class name, search directly goes to the static pole and then gets me the information. That's the one thing. Okay. Right click, run as Java application. See, prints me 10. What is the A value? 10. Print statement dot x. What is the x value? 100. Then creates the object obj1 dot y. What is the y value? 200. Then obj1 dot x. x value is 100. Then x. So now what will happen? The x value is what? 100. That has been printed. In case after the program completely executed, after the class, if I have anything, so can you see I cannot have anything okay okay here we cannot write any information it throws an error okay whatever we have to write we have to write inside the class even after the main function also you can see I cannot print it it throws an error right right that answers your question uh, Robert oh yes yes thank you good so with this, I'll stop it for today. Uh, any questions from anyone for today's session? Uh, Murli, I tried uh, that uh, main and control space enter. In yes. mine, uh, I'm not getting that. Uh, so have you created the class inside the class? Are you trying yeah. that? Way? Yeah, I created the class and uh, then tried. I was not getting control space. I hold it. OK, and cool. But uh, press enter. Uh, is it any setting needed? Uh, nothing. We will see here. I'll stop my screen share now. Uh, can you share your screen? Can you share your screen? Are you able to see my screen? Yeah, it's loaded now. Uh, one minute. I have to log into my remote machine. I have loaded there.
Yeah, here I was trying morning. Are you able to see my screen? Yes, I can see. Uh, sis, oh. Yeah. Yes, uh, why yes. And, uh, controls, yeah, yes, why yes, oh. Correct, right? Yes, correct, correct. Uh, control right. space, I am not getting the options to enter. Uh, can you just give yes, why yes, so ut? Uh, yes, why yes, what? Ut. Ut. Ah. Okay. Control right, space. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm getting it. Is it? Yeah. Ah. Is it uh, my space bar? This language bar is creating a problem. I don't know. I... No, no, no. That is not be a problem. Morley, does she need the class? A oh, public class. She has a public class. I don't know. That is not a problem. That is, it can be anything. Yeah, I am not getting that option actually. I don't know. From morning I tried and then I started typing this. Is it? Um, can you just uh, uh, just can you see control S control S control S? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just give now again control space. Control space. Yeah. It's not coming. Yeah. Just give me a minute. I just request it for a remote control access. Yeah. Project, let me see once. Mm, so not eight, okay. Shortcuts or something like that is there. Uh, let me Google it uh, today. Uh, yeah. Shall yeah. uh, Then after that, actually, what uh, when I found the solution, I'll just give it to you. So, my yeah. actually, what some shortcuts or something actually? What is there yeah. any options switched off or not? Yeah, that's what I am thinking. Any keys setting shortcut option is disabled or how to enable? I'm not interested. Yes. Morning, Maybe. I tried this and I was not getting. It. Sure, sure. Uh, let me check on that button. Yeah, so sure. then after that, we can make it. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, any questions for anyone, guys? Anyone has any questions? Yeah, Morley, what's our topic for the next class? Uh, same. Uh, we are going to continue with actually what? The uh, global and local variable. From okay. next week onwards, it will be a three hour session. 